On this day in history, July 23, 1952, the Free Officers, a nationalistic military group led by Colonel Gamal Abdel Nasser, engineered a coup that overthrew King Farouk I of Egypt, ending the monarchy and bringing Nasser to power. This event is one of several that comprise the Egyptian Revolution of 1952. The revolution ushered in a wave of revolutionary politics and contributed to the escalation of decolonization and the development of Third World Solidarity during the Cold War. Although they planned to overthrow the monarchy on August 2, leaked information from the Egyptian cabinet on July 19 revealed that King Farouk acquired a list of the dissenting officers and was set to arrest them. The free officers thus decided to launch a preemptive strike. On the morning of July 23rd, Chairman of the Free Officers Gamal Abdel Nasser and Abdel Hakim Amer drove around Cairo in Nasser's automobile to collect men to arrest key royalist commanders before they reached their barracks and gained control over their soldiers. As they approached the El Koba Bridge, an artillery unit led by Yusef Sedek met with them before he led his battalion to take control of the military general headquarters to arrest the Royalist Army Chief of Staff, Hussein Siri Amer and all the other commanders who were present in the building. At 6 o'clock, the Free Officers Air Force units began circling Cairo's skies. At 7.30 a.m., a broadcasting station issued the first communique of the coup in the name of General Nequib to the Egyptian people. It attempted to justify the coup, which was also known as the Blessed Movement. The person reading the message was Free Officer and future President of Egypt, and Sadat. The coup was conducted by less than 100 officers, almost all of which were drawn from junior ranks, and prompted scenes of celebration in the streets by cheering mobs. With his British support network now neutralized, King Farouk sought the intervention of the United States, which was unresponsive. He was exiled on July 26, sent off to Egypt. On July 28, 1953, Mohammed Naguib became the first president of Egypt, which marked the beginning of modern Egyptian governance. If you're interested in learning more about this day in history, check out these books that are linked in our bio. If you use these links, you can support our page.